What is up, Justin Dez back with another Hobart Team Builder Dynasty. It's been a couple weeks, I know, but I had to, you know, rearrange uh, furniture and whatnot, so I don't have the office anymore. I'm recording this literally in my living room, so if you hear animals, that's why. But I'm excited to get back into it. As we are hosting Minnesota and we're ranked fifth in the country, having a phenomenal, phenomenal season, season four, this is our last home game, too, as Whalen gets a good return. Because remember, our last game is technically neutral, so it will be at MetLife Stadium and Rutgers. All right, here we go. We're going to start the game off, maybe with a read option. Yeah, definitely read option. Dustin Miller, he's going to get a good, solid gain of seven. I mean, Dustin Miller has played phenomenal. Uh, I'm probably going to be rusty because I haven't played this game in like almost a month. But it's Osborne's in motion. We're going to hit Tyler. Who else gets a gain of 13 and moves the chains? But I mean, Dustin Miller, I think for the first five, six games of the year, had like 14 touchdowns, one pick. I jinxed it. And since then, he's been rusty. But Wallace, he's going to break it 20, 50. Down to the 8-yard line or 9-ish, 40-yard gain. And our offense has just been absolutely unstoppable. We've been steamrolling teams. We had some ugly games here and there. But overall, as Miller is going to audible, touchdown Tyler, you already know. You know, as our defense is starting, it's really making me sad that uh, this is the last time Bo Brown will ever be on Boswell Field. Chris Bonner is going to try and get him. Terrell Morris was there, and Joe Francis only gained a three. All right, third and two. I'm trying to skip some plays. Uh, it was nothing too crazy happened. As Demarcus Roberts gets the stop. Let's go. Probably not going to get the putt return for a touchdown, but why not? Huge three and out. Iowa's up against Northwestern. I think we face Northwestern next episode. And then Old Miss and then Rutgers to close out, the, close out the regular season as Osborne's juking and stuff, but gain of 17. All right, first and 10. We're going to give Wallace the rock again. Solid gain of four. All right, second and six. To Waylon. Waylon's going to get the first and then some gain of 10. Waylon's been kind of underrated. He's really grown. He's been here since season one. Um, he's he's really grown into his own. Oh, terrible pass! I knew it as soon as I threw it. That's not even. That's my bad. Not even Dustin's fault. I saw Richards, the tight end. He was kind of open, but I was like, nope, Tyler. But step for step was with him. And, like, I guess we're just not going to tackle O'Connor. Oh, <sighs> that's my bad. Chris Bonner with the sack. Let's go. My man went untouched there. Second and 13. Come on, and. CK, another sack. We're just bringing the pressure, man. I'm also just a big fan of Joe Hamilton, the defensive coordinator we brought over from Tulane. He's really, really changed the defense, but I also think it helps that we actually have a defensive line with our two freshmen, and what a dot. They're going to tie the game up. Absolute dot over Bo Henderson. I Maybe we should have went zone. Either way, uh, the turnover is my fault. That's the only reason we're in this game with Minnesota right now. 149 left in the first quarter. Tied 7-7. Silly turnover by me. As Wallace, he's going to get a pretty good gain. Almost gets the first, but second in inches. TJ's in the game for the second time. He's going to get the handoff. And Dustin Miller could get a little bit more, but he's not the super scrambler. Not a great ball carry so we're just going to take the yards save to live it another down and move the chains i've been very impressed with uh his mobility this year uh overall i think it 
will get better, but overall, I've been very impressed with it. Dump it down to Mac Daddy. Mac Daddy's going to get 16 and move the chains. I was also very poised because he was he, the pressure was kind of collapsing. He stood in there. That That's the type of stuff that we want to see from our Heisman candidate, hopefully future, as Rakeem Wallace, he's going to bust, get about 11, 13 yards, already 92 yards in the first quarter. That's what we want to see from Dustin Miller, as he could potentially be the top quarterback taken in next year's draft, the poise in the pocket. And he's just going to maybe take an unnecessary hit, but second and five. No, nah, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna we're gonna I trust Wallace getting some yards as he gets two though. It's third and three. We already got a hundred yards on the ground with uh the run game in the first quarter as the first quarter is winding down. The dot to Richards touchdown Hobart. We take the lead. All right. First quarter is going to False start. Yes, sir. Move them chains back. First and 15. Solid gain. Second and five, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. All right. Second and five. Second quarter, 14 to seven. Kind of an ugly game so far, besides that one turnover. Uh, it's kind of been all us. Chris Bonner with the great stop. Gain of three, and it's going to be third down and three. We're going to bring the blitz. We're going to bring the house. I know it get it, you know, it backfired on us last series, but I have faith in this defense. Robert Kane almost got him. Chris. Oh, Robert. He almost got him. I was just a little bit off, but they're going to get the first. <sighs> I was close, man. I so close, man. Because Robert Kane is probably going to be our starting middle linebacker come next year. J.B. Crooks gets the stop and they get a gain of eight. He probably will be pay replacing, excuse me, Bo Brown. I mean, it's going to be hard to replace Bo Brown. I mean, he's been the heart and soul of this defense for so long. Bonner, Henderson, a bunch of statement are there, but they're still going to pick up the first. Francis is going to get him. Gain of six. All right. Second and four. Oh, almost the sack. Almost something, but we'll, we'll take the incomplete pass. As it is third and four again in our territory. They're going to get him. Joe Francis stops him. Does he get credit for the sack? I want to say he does. Yes, he does. We force a three and out. Let's go, boys. Joe Francis is kind of, after a very, very successful freshman campaign, he's kind of flown under the radar this, uh, this sophomore year. But I think he's doing fine as it's a touchback. We get the ball back. As we get another offensive possession, TJ is in the game. Dustin Miller, it's going to be read option. We're just going to take the three yards, not risk a fumble or anything. Yeah, this is what I want. I want them to press. Mac Daddy with the beautiful 30-yard grab dive. Maybe the safety could have got it either way. Great bang-bang play. We're going to try a bubble screen. I, I do not like bubble screens. They... Oh, Jackson bounces off. You know what? I'll take the gain of six. I'm digging this no huddle kind of feel. Oh, terrible blocking. Minus six, third and ten. I honestly don't know where any of those guys are blocking. Uh, we're just kind of go, hopefully we get someone to burn them deep. Oh, yeah. I'm taking my chance on my wide receiver one. Tyler, no. Yeah, we had a punt. I mean, oh my goodness, they had a really, really good return. My God. All right, fun. 
And I think this is why I don't sim punts. I did this once, and they're basically in the red zone. So, yay. Henderson with the tackle for loss. I think it's Patrick, not Bo Henderson. Yeah, my bad. He absolutely got cooked for Minnesota's one touchdown, but he kind of redeemed himself there. Big time. As it's second and 11, they already called one timeout. Joe, come on, NCAA. That was a tackle. I literally pressed square, and they were like, nah, fam. All right, I guess this is, uh, this is what I get for not playing for a couple of weeks. Very rusty, sloppy game as Osborne's going to break it to the 30, 40, 50, 45, huge gain of 52. That's what I want to see. Show a little fire. All right, maybe Jackson, maybe Kaplan, or Mac Daddy. Maybe the double pivot. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we'll try it. Ryan Kaplan, our Taysom Hill. He's going to get out of bounds, get 11 in the first. Love to see it, man. Really, the one incompletion, the overthrow, and then the pick. That's really been Dustin Miller's day. Besides that, he has been on point. He's going to take off. He's going to run. We're going to call no huddle. Never mind. We uh, we called a timeout. We, we were kind of taking too long. So to me, it was like, okay, th there was no other option. To Waylon. Waylon's going to get out of bounds, move the chains, gain a 10, 57, 56, excuse me, seconds left on the clock. We do have two timeouts. We're in the red zone. So I don't really want to go too crazy. We're going to call another timeout. Could I have thrown it? Yes. But to me, I just didn't want to risk it. I saw open lane. So to me, it was like, no, just take the points. Waylon Osborne, he gets in. I could have thrown it to Kaplan, and he breaks the school record. Waylon Osborne does for the most career receiving touchdowns, I believe. I don't know. I, are they ever going to show the achievement? I guess not. We'll check after the game, though. Joe Francis with the incompletion. 34 seconds left. He has been absolutely on a tear this first half. A sack. That was a pass breakup. J.B. Crooks almost got there. That should have been a pick. But we'll take the third and 10. It's that 49-yard pass. It's We have shut them down. I think they're going to pass it. That's why we're staying in zone. Henderson gets stiffed-armed, and it's fourth and inches. Are they going to call the timeout? I don't think they are. So we should watch out for the fake. We did call timeout because they do get the ball at half. So I'm thinking hopefully we can get a solid return, maybe get a play or two, and then kick a field goal, and then use all the momentum in the world as Osborne. That's a great Great kickoff return. Eight seconds. That was kind of a waste of time. 36 yards. I will take it. That was awesome. I don't trust our kicker yet. This is kind of why we're recruiting a kicker, but I'm looking Tyler maybe to burn. Maybe Mac. Four seconds left. We're going to do the deep ball one last time. They're kind of expecting it. So who's going to get it? Gordon. Gets the touchdown at the end of the half at the buzzer. What a dot. Four passing touchdowns for Dustin Miller. With an extra point, we're going to take a two-touchdown lead at the half. Wow, that was incredible. The Juco sophomore with the big-time game, and we would have not done that with Jordan Williams before. So that was an absolute dot. But we get the momentum ending in the halftime. Now it's time for the halftime report sponsored by W Energy. Use code Justin Dez, all caps, for 10% off 
The link and everything is in the description. Now enjoy the halftime show. Welcome to the Dubby Halftime Show. We're going to look at some recruits as Adam West, a four-star recruit. We're slowly gaining, pulling away from him. Brandon Hollow, Holland, excuse me, we're pulling away from him. Zach Moons, we're pulling away. Uh, Scott Bracker, we're, I think we're going to lock him up after this week, hopefully. Same thing with Eddie Lumpkin, RJ Bradford. We're kind of in the mix with Tennessee, but Tennessee might land him. Terrence Douglas, Oklahoma's creeping up. Uh, Chad Clark, we're still in there. Justin Washington, we're kind of at a race. Todd Cobbs, we're going to pull away. Ted Sharp, really nothing spectacular. We're going to try to get John Bell, but we don't need John Bell. Morris Hardy, we're pulling away. The Juco, Paul Adams, and Jason Lee. And as of right now, we have the 11th best recruiting class with a couple of four star. And. The rest are all three stars. So I don't say not bad of a, a recruiting class. Hopefully we can land a lot of the guys that we have uh, visiting this week. But let's get back to second half action. Talk about starting or ending, excuse me, the first half in a bang with that basically walk-off touchdown. Robert Kane couldn't get there. Bo Brown, he definitely could. Gain of four, though. Second and six. Oh, that was a beautiful play. Joe Francis is going to get in Bo Brown, but they get 14 in the first. First and 10. Bonner lays the wood, but they get a gain of eight. He's already got five tackles. One tackle for a loss already uh, as it's second and two. Bo Brown gets in the backfield. They do get gain of one, but either way, great play. Third and one. Two for five on third downs today. The Gophers are. Can we get a first, well, second half stop? As they're kind of delaying a little bit. Oh, yeah, they easily got it. Demarcus Roberts, Bo Brown, they're going to get their gain of eight. Triple option, man. It's, it's, it's a pain when it comes to NCAA 14. Bonner, Terrell Morris, all there on the tackle. It's also true in clock. I don't like this because it's taking time away from Dustin Mill in the offense, but that's how you got to beat him. Honestly. Bonner's going to get him, but O'Connor gets a gain of six. As it's third and two now. I, oh, they got a... Oh. I think that's a tight end. Morris Bonner, can you get him? No, he can't. Not before he moves the chains. Gain of two. First and ten. They're slowly driving. They are slowly driving. 86 is a mammoth of a man. Henderson is going to stop him, but only gain of one. They have almost ran out the entire clock so far. In this third quarter. Childress gets a stop. Loss of two. Third and 12. We're roughly near the two minute. Mark in the third quarter. Can we get some pressure on him? Wow. What an absolute dot. And route by Davis. The Gophers of Minnesota. Are, uh, they're still fighting. They're putting up a fight this uh, this game. It's first and goal. We stuff him. Demarcus Roberts on the tackle. Second and goal. It would be huge if the Hobart Statesman defense gets a stop. Maybe a field goal holds them. Mitchell. Aiden Mitchell with the tackle for a loss. Third and goal. Five for eight on third downs. Overall, it has been a long drive for the Statesman. As J.B. Crooks brings him in the backfield, O'Connor is down. That's not good, but we force 
hopefully a field goal, but I'm assuming they're going, no, they're going for the field goal. All right, great stop. I don't like the fact that they basically wasted almost the entire third quarter, but we will take a field goal. Great goal line stand by Hobart. Defense. Slowly but surely, we're getting those playmakers, man. J.B. Crooks has come a long way from being kind of a role guy to basically being an All-American last year. You love to see it. Osborne, not a great return, but we're going to get the ball for the first time on offense in the second half with 51 seconds left. 17-28, number five, Hobart's trying to hold on, keep the winning streak alive at the boss. As first down, Victor Jackson, he's going to get about eight or nine. No, he's going to get ten, but we'll take it. As we are going no huddle, trying to test them, Mac Daddy, he's going to get a good gain of 16. Moves the chains. Not really ra run the ball uh, a lot. Not, not this game. It's kind of, at first we were, but then uh, we're just gunslinging it. Incompletion, maybe not the best decision by me, but either way. O'Connor is out with a sprained elbow, out for the rest of the game, so that means Minnesota is going to have their backup quarterback in. That is huge for us. Tyler with the great move down to the 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown. His second of the game, 57 yards to the crib. 16 of 20, 234, five touchdowns for Dustin Miller, and we're going to add on to this lead. Start of the fourth quarter, backup running, uh, excuse me, backup quarterback in, down by a lot. Oh, that should have been a pick by you, Richards. Come on, man. Got to have the awareness. Got to have the awareness, man. You, you, you just have to. Robinson bullies him, gets, feels the pressure, and he forces another incomplete pass, third and ten. I don't think we're going to have to blitz, full-on blitz. Part of me wants to. Same time, we're just trying to stop the first. I trust our four-man rush to get after this backup. It doesn't matter, man, because they get the first. So, uh, shout out Coach Schmetta. Follow him on YouTube. Uh... One of the OG subscribers. He's He's been burnt, man, a lot this year. Demarcus Roberts says, no, uh, no, sir. His third career, they're going to say it's his first because of the Illinois game. But great jump ball experience. You love it. This might be Dustin Miller's second to last drive. I think we're going to run the ball. Um. Oh. No. I want it to slide. I don't know why he fumbled, but I mean, I guess I'll give Waylon it. I want it to slide, but he dove instead. <laughs> so that's exciting. Uh, yeah, this this might be one of his last few drives, depending on how it goes. There we go. See, we slid that time. Because we want to give Ryan Kaplan or Taysom Hill, Swiss Army Knife, some playing time so he doesn't transfer. Victor Jackson. He's still going. He's still going. What a beast. Gain of 38, breaking off three or four tackles. Dude's an absolute beast. TJ is in the game. Oh, Dustin, he's trying to break it outside, but he doesn't get it. Second and four. You're slowly starting to see him get confident when it comes to... Uh, Running, scrambling, as Rakeem Wallace, he's going to ground and pound, get a gain of six, first and goal. Honestly, I feel bad because he had, he's, had he's had a hell of a game, Rakeem has. Uh, as it's the triple option. No, we wanted to pitch it, but lost three. Not in his forte, that's for sure. Oh, TJ? One of his first few carries of the game, and he's going to... Not get in. Gain of six. How did he not get in? Right, we're pulling the Philadelphia Eagles here, man. Third and goal. You kind of figure where it's going to go. QB sneak. Hurdles in. Six total touchdowns. What a great day to end off for Dustin Miller. He had a terrible pick, but other than that, hell of a day. All right. 
first and 10. I kind of want to bring the blitz, bring the pressure, bring the heat. They do get the first, but I want to make this quarterback's life hell. All right, man, second and two. Williams and K with the sacks. Let's go. Second sack for him. That's all he does. He's a sack machine. Third and five. Let's bring the heat. And I don't know why he threw that, but we'll take it. And they're going, they're going for it. Why not? Why not? Roberts gets cooked. Gain of 17, but we'll... I mean, we're already up by so much. Childress, Bonner, Morris are there on the tackle. Kind of want to bring the dogs... Oh, Bo Brown, you could have had a pick there, dog. Kevin Washington was also there on the pressure as well. It, it bounced off of it. <laughs> it bounced off of his helmet. It was a great play, great read by the quarterback. He just didn't turn around, and it just double doinked off his helmet. Robinson Morris gives up another play. Dude, he's been cooked today. Sorry, man. You're still my guy. You're still my guy, Terrell. But yeah, no, he's been not doing great. Oh! Garbage time, TD. I think there was a confusion. Uh, if Joe Francis waited a little bit, but, you know, I think DeMarcus and Joe kind of maybe bumped. It is what it is. You know, it's... Garbage time. Bo Brown shuts it down. There we go. The man, the myth, the legend himself. Ryan Kaplan, our little Taysom Hill, is in the game as Rakeem Wallace gets a gain of eight. Our little, our little future QB1 is an absolute stud. Kaplan, he's going to get all oh, this is green grass, baby. Untouched. Touchdown. 34 yards. You'll love to see it. Check out the player stats. Uh, besides that one stupid pick by me, he's had, he had a phenomenal game. 272, five touchdowns, 80% completion percentage. Rushing, he had 11 and 62. Wallace had 7 and 84. TJ had 1 and 6. Ryan Kaplan with 1 and 34, untouched. Uh, Miller did have a fumble. I don't get why. Mac Daddy led us with four catches. 65 yards. Tyler had 379 and 2. Waylon had 325 and a 1. Victor had 3 and 54. Tony Gordon had 134 and 1. Kaplan had 1 and 11. Tim Richards 110 and a tutty. Uh, Rakeem Wallace had one catch for negative 6 yards. Blocking did not give up a sack. Shout out Dennis Mason with a pancake. We love pancakes. Defensively, Chris Bonner led us with 10 tackles, 5 by Bo. Five by JB, four by Demarcus Brooks, including a pick. Uh, tackles for a loss. K had two, also two sacks. Childress had one. Henderson, Mitchell, Bonner, Crooks, Francis, Roberts had them as well. Sacks wise, Francis had one, one pick, and one pass deflection by Bo Brown and Chris Bonner. Uh, so we got Eddie Lumpkin, who I kind of figured other guys are ready to recruit. Brandon loved it. Uh, RJ, we're still battling with Tennessee. Adam West, we're ready. Uh, other than that, everyone else really kind of digged it. Oh, we also got Scott. Sweet. We love it. So I don't get the passing touchdown um, record by Osborne. I think it might have been uh, a single season Oh, hold on. Okay, so it was Dustin Miller. Dustin Miller broke a season single passing touchdown record with 29. Jordan Williams had 24 before. It confused me because they really showed Waylon, and also they didn't show, like, the actual record. So it was Dustin Miller who broke the record for the clarification. But next episode, we are at Northwestern, who is ranked, and we're ranked fourth in the country.
So I want to thank you guys if you made it this far in the video. You guys are awesome. Make sure you drop a like. Comment about your thoughts about the game, whatnot. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video or episode of Hobart Team Builder Dynasty is up. But until the next video, you guys have a good one. Peace.